Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Jacob's Family Reviews, where I give an honest, unbiased review on many different products from outdoors, electronics, household, lawn and garden, you name it. If I've got it, I'll review it. And then you decide if it's right for you. Like and subscribe. Thanks. Now, if any time during or after this video you wish to learn more about a product or want to purchase it, simply click on the link in the description below this video. When you click on that link, you'll be taken to my Amazon storefront video page like this. But don't worry about the video. You don't have to watch it again unless you want to. But you could click right here on the product link and that'll take you to that product. But before you do, if you could give me a thumbs up right here, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, on to the product. You click here and it'll take you to this page right here. Here's your Amazon page. Reviews, details, well, the whole works. It's Amazon, you know. Okay, without further ado, on to the product review. Thank okay, you. So let's talk about our Cuisinart coffee maker here. This is a 14 cup coffee maker. DCC 3200 is the model. So far, we definitely like it. We've had it for over a year now. It was a gift to us. Now, one thing about this I definitely like, it's 14 cups of coffee and it's a small footprint. You're only talking about eight and a half inches depth here and eight inches wide, 14 inches high. When you open this, you're at 22 inches. So you may need something like what we have here, this, this platform slider here. So when you slide it back, when it's not in use, it's under the cabinet. When you pull this out, now you've got room to make your coffee. Stainless steel color, just an ordinary cord, probably about uh, two and a half, three feet long. Nice, nice pot here, nice glass pot, 14 cups. Plenty of coffee for the entire family. Let's see, what else here? Um, we, let's see, the time is correct. Okay, I was gonna show you that, okay. So you've got your buttons here. You've got clean, bold, brew off, auto off, program auto on, and your one to four cups. And you and you got your uh, time adjustment here, your warming plate or pot temperature, low, medium, high, and you've got your tone. Now the tone works if you you, you press it and you'll see it's X out. That's to mute that beeping noise. So when your coffee's done, it, it beeps at you, it's telling you, hey, the coffee's ready. If you have a pet that doesn't like that sound, no problem, just press that button and you'll wait for the X and that will mute it out. To set the time, you hit hour, it starts flashing and you just press this and you just go around the clock until you get to your correct time. It's, set, it's, it's at PM right there. If you want it AM, then you go past the 12 until the AM is, is well, until the PM is out. And then you just, uh, and then you're set. So let's bring this back to 11.52 AM. And you wanna adjust the minute right there. Once you have the time, you let it go, it stops flashing and it's set. So this temperature here, right now it's on H, I usually keep it at medium. All that means is, is just low, medium, high, that's just the warming plate. That's, you know, low, it keeps it a lower temperature, mediums, medium temperature, high is for high. You usually use the high temperature if you plan on putting something cold in your coffee, like milk or something. And when you do that, that reduces the temperature of the coffee. So you obviously want your coffee hotter, so you keep this on high and we keep it at, at medium. So clean, let's start with these buttons here. Clean is something, when this lights up, that means it's time to clean, it, uh, clean the uh, filter itself. That means the heating element may have some calcium on there, some buildup. So to clean it, what you do is use one third cup of vinegar and two third cups of water. So one third cup vinegar, two third cup of water, you put the mixture in there, close this, hit the clean button, and that will start cleaning. Right now, it doesn't need cleaning. 
But when it does, this will light up, telling you, hey, you know, it's, it's time to clean. So you put your mixture in there, the water vinegar mixture in there, and hit this button, clean. Now, once that's done, then you wanna do a full cycle, two full cycles of fresh water, just to rinse out that vinegar water mixture. Bold, that's for a bold coffee. Uh, if you want the your coffee to have a bold flavor, just hit bold. And then you hit brew, and that will start the brewing process for bold coffee. If you don't want bold coffee, just make sure that light is off. Brew off and on, that's, you just put your water in, and if you want to do a quick brew, just hit that button brew, and it will start brewing. Program auto on, that's exactly that. If you want your coffee maker to turn on automatically in the morning at a particular time, just hit this, just press this button, and just set the time now, let's see, set for 12 a.m. And then you could just adjust the time here, and leave this button on before you go to bed. That indicates that the next morning, this auto on feature is on and ready to go. If it's off, like it is now, the auto, uh, the auto function is turned off. So make sure that's on if you want the auto function to work in the morning. One to four cups is, is just that. Uh, if you're gonna make a small batch of coffee, one to four cups, here's your two, three, four marker. You, uh, you put in your, your water there. In fact, let's go ahead and pour in some water. Pour it there. And you can see it fill up. So I'm gonna go to four. I'll just go to four cups here. And that's it. We're at four cups. You put your coffee in there. Here's here's the filter. Coffee goes in there. If you use paper filters like we usually do, you just get your uh, paper filter number four. Whoops, there's two of them stuck together. Open it up and put it in there. But we're gonna use this right here. Here's your, your uh, basket. I'll show you real quickly. That's the basket there and you got that plunger there. That works when you have coffee brewing, and let's say you want quick coffee, you pull this out, and that valve closes in there, and no uh, coffee will come out. It means it just stops brewing, brewing pauses. So you've got your basket there, you've got your filter here. Just had some water in here before. You've got a little charcoal filter here. When you first get this new, you want to soak it and rinse it a couple times. Just follow the instructions and you're off. Probably need to replace that filter every uh, five to six months, just depending on how often you use the coffee machine. Okay, so you've got your, your basket in place and you want to make some coffee. Make, make sure that's seated well. Put your coffee filter there. Make sure that's seated well. You, 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 uh, you put your water in there, and we got our four cups ready to go. I've got my coffee in there. I don't have any coffee now. Uh, we ran out of coffee, but that's all right. Just pretend there's coffee in there and start brewing. Just press the button and it starts brewing. You're good to go. And we'll see how it goes. I'll be back. Hey, we are brewing away here. It's been only a couple minutes. So the brew off auto off function is very simple, right? It's, it's defaulted for two hours, which means when this is done and it beeps, two hours later, the coffee maker will shut off. Now you can adjust that anywhere from zero minutes to four hours, but it's default for two hours. It's the same thing. You just adjust the time here and say you want it for only 20 minutes later, then you just adjust this, make sure the hour's at zero and you adjust this minute to 20. You let it go, it flashes, it stops flashing and it's set. So this coffee maker will turn off after 20 minutes. So if you want it for three hours, you just press this, you adjust the hours for three hours, you wait till it's three, 
zero, zero. And you wait till it sets, and then you have your three hours set. It, it's just a nice feature in case you need to leave to go to work and you want to make sure the coffee maker goes off at a certain time after you you left. So we're brewing. So the auto brew off feature, well, not the auto, but uh, one thing cool about this is if you're brewing coffee and you got a ways to go and you want coffee now and you simply cannot wait, just pull this out and it automatically stops. That's that plunger up inside there. When the pot is out, it stops brewing. So that's nice. If you want it to continue, just pop the uh, pot back in there and it, and it continues brewing. You can hear it go. So I got the tone, let's see. I'm gonna turn the tone off. 12 o'clock's the correct time, by the way. <laughs> it's not reset. And it's just about down. See, it's just about empty there. There's no more water left. So this will go off soon. Now let's turn that tone back on. Hmm. And that's how you do it. So far, we definitely like it. If you're in the market for a coffee maker, small, compact, works well, small footprint, a lot of coffee, 14 cups. Check this one out. We definitely like it. Thumbs up. I hope this video was helpful.